Power Rangers has had an interesting time with the bikes. First, they couldn't use them, now pretty much create their own, since Super Sentai doesn't do much anymore. Bikes are Kamen Rider's area. I get why Toy doesn't want to use them, just like how Rangers based off bugs are rare too. Bikes, I think, are important to the series. I wish they would be featured more often, just not go overboard with other vehicles. Centurion Cycle. You guys know I like the Blue Centurion slash Signalman character. I really liked his equipment. It was an overload of flashing lights from his armor to the bike. It's your traditional cop cycle, probably the most realistic bike the show's come up with. It's simple compared to what PR does today. Most of the time we get stuff that flies. I like that it also uses all the elements of the Robo Racer and even the Turbo Team. The front grille of the car is the main shape for the lower light area. The bike lights are the yellow turbo suit shapes. You can also see some design elements that are reused for the Omega Max Megazord. The row of lights from the bike are very similar to Omega Max shoulder pads. If Bandai ever wanted to do legacy bikes, this one would be a good option with a cool LED light system and figure. Air Force Cycle. Pretty much the only thing that I like seeing from Omega Ranger. It's a unicycle, one giant wheel. It sucked that we didn't get to see it much since it was an effect. It's a really unique design. The user sits in a low position. It has a small mini wheel on the back so Omega could do a wheelie. It looks very believable. The tire always made me think that it could be used as a shield. It has some flavor of the Defender wheel. I wonder if someone could make this bike in real life and drive it. Tsunami Cycle. These bikes probably confuse some people. Remember how in the show the Thunder Ranger stole designs and made theirs? Well, in Super Sentai it was flipped. In Hurricaneger, the Ikachi team are the ones that had the bikes. The Hyatt team didn't have any at all. If you wondered why the Wind Team bikes had lightning bolts and when Tori and Dustin used the Thunder bikes in that episode, that's the reason why. I still like the bikes. They're very similar to the unused Thunder bikes from MMPR Season 2. The back bolts look like Pikachu's tail. And of course the nose lightning bolt reminds you of the PR logo. Shark Cycle. I never understood why they bothered with these bikes. MMPR Season 3 was all over the place with stuff that just pops up for a few episodes then never gets used again. I think they were trying too hard to get Cocker Ranger to work, then Bandai was throwing in show requirements. But I liked the shark cycles. They were different. They didn't follow a dinosaur theme, which I got bored of at this point. They were a little bit more bulky than you would think. I liked that they made different fronts per two rangers. Blue and black had orange eyes, white and red had lasers, last yellow and pink were spiked nose sharks. I just wish they were used more on the show. The last time we saw them was when Cat became a ranger, then gone. Lightspeed Cycle. Now this is what a PR bike should be used as. The sidecar being a finisher was a great idea. It could dig through rubble. The front has laser weapons. It has a similar look to the Zeo Jet Cycles. It's perfect for rescue operations and a good distraction from monster fights. Your Megazord isn't available, just throw the sidecar at their face. Originally in GoGo 5, only Red had the bike. It's the reason why Kelsey uses his bike instead of hers. I do like it when PR gives the whole team bikes. Red Rangers don't need to keep all the toys to themselves. Silver Galaxy Cycle. Not only can Silver Ranger fly with the Galaxy Glider, his can transform into a bike. There's no real use for it since flying is better, but PR isn't just for realism. It makes me think of the Back to the Future movies, the way it folds the wheels up and down. The toy version of it is a really nice chrome silver. What I find weird on the Super Sentai side, Silver was the prototype of the other Mega Rangers, but their Cyber Sliders don't have this bike mode. Kind of a downgrade for the main team. The back part of the bike is the basis of the Jet Jammers engine in Lost Galaxy. Six Rangers are the ones that get the bikes the most, which is a decent trade-off since they don't get featured much. It took 10 years for the Six Rangers to be in the main credits in Super Sentai. Dino Cycle. This one was interesting. It required a dino charger to form from two pieces. Everyone can use it. I guess that's why they made it yellow since there was no yellow dino charge ranger. When they're separate, it's two unicycle dinosaurs. Reminds me of the Raptor Riders. They have the same hyper personality and a bit of Will's hover tech cycle. It sucked that they didn't use them in that form that much in dino charge. It was a really good use of the extra charger since most of them don't do anything or their side abilities that get forgotten. I wonder if Dino Charge got Chase's name from the black calf of the Dino Cycle in Kyoruger. Capsular Cycle. This one came out of nowhere. It's a season that's very nature focused, but Red Ranger gets a bike, a really good bike, that turns into a giant fireball. After how much stuff Lost Galaxy gave him, way too many vehicles. It directly finishes off a monster. I'm amazed how they got the bike to drive. It's a pretty big shape. 
I would have liked to have seen the dashboard of the bike. We only get a glimpse of it with the toy. My favorite part are all the little details. Even the toy keeps them. It has the lion's head on the front with Red Ranger's helmet lines and shapes on the top. The side has the Quasar Saber head emblem, plus some of the Lights of Orion designs here and there. Zeal Jet Cycle. They don't do much, but they have a good look. It's kind of like they just threw the suits onto a standard bike. Game Man does a similar thing to their horses. And all the gold trims are from the Xeonizers. The basic shape is a reuse of the Keebler machines from Die Ranger. The lights shining through the visor shapes was a good idea, but I think it would have been too annoying in real life. Especially yellow since the bars would block some of the light. These bikes always look like they could take a pounding and go on all kinds of terrain. Or some other season bikes that were really large. Vector Cycle. These are my favorite bikes. They're sleek and shiny. They can shrink down and be put in a suitcase. I love that from Time Force. They use their shrink tech for other applications. The toy set came with a lot of stuff and were pretty detailed from the real bikes. The gold trim on the front makes me think of the Gold Ranger and Zeo. They used them a fair bit in the show, that school bus episode. I know Quantum Ranger had other vehicles, but it would have been nice if they had made the toy Vector Cycle on the show. Never cared for that TF Eagle. It sucks in the recent years that the show hasn't done bikes all that much. Japan doesn't do much because of Kamen Rider, but PR also started lagging. I think they're an important part of the series. I don't like when they do 50 million vehicles like they did in Ninja Storm and Dino Thunder. We don't need to go back to ATVs or trucks, but one line of team individual bikes should be a standard. I like some sidecar shooting action too. What are your favorite bikes? And if you have a suggestion on what future topic you'd like me to cover, leave a comment down below. Next week, I'll talk about my favorite fight scenes, morphed and unmorphed.